it's called Silyagi, and it's about um, a period of time in 1956 Russia after um, Stalin had died and there was sort of chaos and uncertainty in Russia. A small faction of young people um, wanted to defy the communist Russia and um, explore American ideals. And they went underground and started emulating what they thought approximations of English and, and American music and American styles, all the while knowing it was so illegal and that they would, could be sent to the gulag at any moment for what they were trying to do. The movie is a kind of an amazing Baz Luhrmann style movie musical. And Oleg is the original choreographer from the film, so we brought him over from Moscow to work with us on this. What you did in the film, from a Russian perspective, was to create the kinds of dancing that Russians in 1955, who only had a tiny, tiny bit of information about the way Americans were dancing just to American music. The posters. Just po like, yeah, right? They really don't know how they dance. Just, just, just only saw posters on LP or something, and they try to create this dance from these poses. We sort of tried to see it through the lens of these young Russian kids in, in 1955 who had no access to sort of the great jazz, the pantheon of jazz music, so how would you channel it and write a jazz score? So it's sort of Russian influenced, Brazilian influenced, Canadian, and then there's Soviet music, so there's big Soviet music, um, and there's also Russian folk music, so it's sort of the, the, the culmination of all these sort of clashes of culture uh, in, the, in the Soviet Union at that time.